you'd slip away This is Wayne Orr, back with another lesson and probably my favourite Blur song today, Beetlebum. I get a lot of requests for Blur. I think I've only ever done one song, which was Tendy, which uh, is another one of my personal favourites by Blur. But this one probably is my favourite. I think this is just a great sort of out there tune. Uh, amazing song. Um, pretty sort of intricate to play. It's not sort of a, of a beginner song. I'm mainly using power chords. There's a few bar chords there as well. Uh, but... A good challenge, great song to get down. So uh, without further ado, let's get to it. Okay, so the song is in standard tuning. And first of all, keeping it true to the song, we're just gonna do this little, this little muted string thing. So you just lightly rest your fingers on the strings without putting any notes down. And we're just sort of doing these little brush down strokes. So we've got this. Then we're gonna go into the first chord. Now this sort of uh, little intro, I do it around sort of power chords, sort of uh, five chords. So the first one is an A5, so we've got the first finger on the fifth fret on the low E string. The third finger is going to go on the seventh fret, that is on the D. And I'm putting my little pinky on the seventh fret, that is on the D string. So we're going to go... Okay, so we're playing the chord, one, two, three, and then we're taking the first finger... And we're doing this little slide. Now it doesn't really matter where you do it from, but I'm doing it from the 10th fret there. So we get this one, two, three. You can hear that. I'm just hitting the E string on that slide. And then getting back into the chord. So we get this one, two, three. We're going to move that chord up so we're now on the eighth fret we're doing a c5 power chord so now i'm doing a little slide from the 13th fret so going down to the first fret for an f5 so sixth fret is quite good sliding into that one and then the last chord we're going to go to a g Sliding from the 8th fret. And then we're going to hit a B flat chord, a little turnaround chord. Get nothing done. So now we're going to start doing the sliding. This is the, the second part of the verse. But what I'm doing here, I'm going to add my second finger on the 6th fret on the G. I'm going to play pretty much all the strings open. You get a lovely sound. It's a roller playing it as a bar chord. I'm just going to keep that E and B string open. So we get. Okay, we hit that B flat again, and when we go into the A now, the little build up to the chorus, I'm going to do it as an A major bar chord. And then she lets you slip it. Okay, so what I do for the chorus, uh, now I'm going to go into open chords here, which I think playing it acoustically is quite effective. Just gives it a different sort of sound. So I'm going to play a C. 
B minor, A minor, F. I shall tell you what F you do that. You're going to need that F a little bit later on in the chorus, but you can, if you want to, do that F major 7 with the C bass in. So you take a regular F major 7 chord, we're just going to move the third finger to the third fret on the A string. Little pinky's going to go third fret on the D string. Okay, uh, so I'll just play that from the beginning. So we got when she lets you slip, C, B minor, A minor. You can use that F major 7 with the C bass in there. So back to A minor. This time we're going to need an F major bar chord. So we're going to go F minor. C goes around again. B minor. A minor. That F major 7 there. Back to A minor. We got the F. F minor. We'll stop on the C there, okay? I'm just going to sing that through with the words so you can hear how all that sort of gels together. Oh, when she lets me slip away. All the way through what we did sort of for, for the beginning with that verse. So starting off with it, the, and then halfway through the verse, we're just gonna add that. You know, go around the chord movements, but we just added that second finger on, and it just you know makes the chord sound a little bit fuller. Okay, so there's exactly the same. We got another chorus, but after the second chorus, it's gonna go into this outro, which I think is the best part of the song, especially with the little lead guitar line. Uh, so the, co the chords that underline that, I'm going to play these as open chords again. So I'm going to do an A. C. The F major 7 with the C bass in. And we're going to go to a G. I prefer the 4 finger G there. B flat, the A. It's a, it's a, it's a. Okay, so that is pretty much your meat and potatoes of the song. Amazing song. Uh, now the strumming pattern, I'm mainly using downstrokes on this, but I do start strumming in the chorus. Um, so obviously all the way through the... Just doing that. Down, down, down. Okay, uh, I'm also going to do that in the outro, so you know, exactly the same movement, just those down strokes. So the only place I use a strumming pattern I think is quite effective in the chorus. So, when she lets me slip away. Okay, and the pattern I tend to use there, although I do it a little bit different and mix it up a little bit, but a good pattern for you guys will be a down, down, up, down, up, down, 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 up. So that's a down. Down or down or down down down. Oh 
and that is pretty much all you're going to need. Okay, so thanks very much for watching out, you old dog that. I personally think that is an amazing song, and uh, I get loads and loads of requests for Blur, and I probably haven't done enough, so... If you have got any requests for, you know, not just Blur songs, anything in general, 50s to modern day, I think most of you know the drill now, so you can either comment in the post below, or a good way to reach me these days on social media, so I'm Wayne Our Guitar on Facebook, Twitter, and now also Instagram, and that way you can ping me a message across, I do always reply to messages, you know, uh, you're not wasting your time, If but, uh, you know, you got to respect to get hundreds of requests, so we do sort of hem pit them a little bit, but please do keep them coming, because that's what keeps this channel going. Uh, as always, I'd like to thank everyone who subscribed, a massive thank you for all your support, if you are new to me, you know, uh, please hit that subscribe button, I've got well over 300 lessons now, mainly acoustic, you know, classic songs, if you're into Oasis and a lot of the Manchester bands, a lot of 80s, you know, pretty sort of wide range. I've done everything from Abba Fruit to the Metallica, and I'm being serious when I say that, if you want to you go and check uh, a lot of those lessons out. But uh, like I say, if you are new to me, hit that subscribe button, you can hit that little notification bell down there, so every time I put a video up, which is either once or twice a week, uh, you'll get notified, and then you can keep on top of things. Uh, and that just leads me to say, have a great morning, day, night, whenever it is you're watching, and I'll catch you all for a lesson very soon. Take care.